Miss Davy all right? So, when can we talk to Sleeping Beauty? Well, I don't think you're going to get a lot out of him at the moment. The FME is coming back later to have another look at him. And the bloke he bashed up is still out cold in St Hughes? Yep. Better have a word with the informant then, Jim. Ah, oh, trip to the fusillade. Always a pleasure. Mm. I'll buy you a martini. Oh. This David Eden, he's never done anything like this before, no? Usual petty stuff up till now, no violence. Well, he must be going up in the world. Not Davy. He was a snout of mine for a while. I sacked him, he got very unreliable. Too many drugs. Yeah? Jed Allen. Ah, uh, this is about the spot for the last night, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you show us where it happened? Yeah, come straight through. Yeah, it's uh, down the back. You've not been here long, have you? Well, a couple of months. Are you still getting to know the punters then? <laughs> I've seen worse, though. I mean, the last place I had, that was a right dive. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got a few ideas for this place. You know, tidy it up. I get rid of the bad enemy, you know what I mean? Well, like David Eden. Is he a regular here? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, out the back, of us. The uh, punters tend to come out here for a slash, you know, if the toilets are full, all blocked up. Nice. So what exactly did you see out here last night? Well, it was, uh, you know, just before closing, I come out for a bit of air and get away from a wife's ear bashing for a while, know what I mean? Go on. Anyway, I come out and this uh, bloke's gone down. I mean, he's spark out, isn't he? Well, that would be Wayne Reynolds. Do you know him? No, no. I oh, know, but I mean, he was a mess. He had blood all over his face, and then this little slag's leaning over him, going through his pockets. What did he look like? Well, he was, you know, scruffy looking. You know, like he'd never done a day's work in his life, you know, the sort. Was there any trouble in the pub before that? Anyone getting wound up? Oh, it was a good night. Oh, it was busy, but no aggro. I mean, not inside, anyway. Yeah, that's where your lot found Davy. Still out of it, sitting there with the other poor sods, will it? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Get a few junkies using round here, do you, Jed? No, no, look, I don't know nothing about that. Hello, right? delivery. Yeah, yeah back, back on. Do you mind if I. No, you carry on. Do you reckon Davy knew Reynolds then? Eh? Well, it's possible. Davy gets around a bit, doesn't he? Well, they obviously weren't the best of mates, were they? Right, there was no sign of a weapon, so he could have smashed his face against the wall somewhere here. And then settled down and waited for uniform to arrive. Well, he is a smackhead and they are not renowned for make the brightest decisions, are they? Especially David. Must be pretty dark out here of a night, mustn't it, eh? Yeah, it's not the sort of place you want to take a leak in your best shoes, is it? He doesn't go over the top of the facilities, does he? Oh, I don't know, Jim. It's rather spacious, fully air-conditioned, and there's always a very good chance of getting a ride in an ambulance. What more do you want? Yeah, I'm too fussy, right? Look, if it was the money that Davy was after, how comes he did it when he was already smashed? Well, how do you mean? Well, he'd be with the fairies, wouldn't he? What if it was Reynolds' gear? Davy saw it, he cracked Reynolds, and he got stuck in. Yeah. Not very shrewd, is it? Well, like you said, he's not exactly brain of Britain. I mean, it's no wonder he couldn't make a decent snout. Have you uh, finished? Because I've got a lot on. Yeah, I think that's everything oh. for now. Great. Oh, we uh, do the old party, you know? If you've ever got the knee, policeman's ball and all that, you know what I mean? I'll bear it in mind. All right. Hello. Oh, hello. You must be yeah, uh, Lisa, my wife. Well, it's the police, isn't it? A few questions about last night. Oh, right. Just routine, I suppose. That's right, love. You haven't got long, have you? Sorry? The bump. Oh. Don't miss much, you CID boys, do you? <laughs> when you're ready, eh? Sorry. Oh, come on, Davy. I know you remember. Why don't you try telling me the truth for once? It's a bit of a novelty, I know, but give it a shot, eh? I'm doing my best, Mr B. She said, I don't remember anything. Very convenient. I was totally out of it. Well, you're right in it now, aren't you, Davey? I needed to score right and in a hurry, so I went down to the fusillade. It's a bad move, the place is a total hole, but I was gagging, you know. I was desperate. Davey, you get to the point. Yeah. Well, I managed to get sorted in the pub. Or inside the pub? Yeah.
What about Reynolds? Is he a user? I don't know, do I? I mean, I've never heard of the bloke till today. What did you do after you scored? Well, like I was saying, I just went out the back for a blast, that's all. Yeah, but that's not all, is it? Well, I don't know anything about any assault. It's not in my nature, you know that, Mr Beach. I just went out to get bombed, that's all. I only smoke it, you know, I don't jack up or anything, I'm not stupid. Next thing I know, I'm being accused of all sorts. I mean, why, why, why me? Oh, seeing as you are, Stavey. For the benefit of the tape, I'm showing the suspect exhibit DQ1, a leather wallet. Do you recognise this? No. It was found beside you at the scene. Belongs to the victim, Wayne Reynolds. Yeah, well, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't prove anything, does it? Well, try this one on for size, then. What about the fact that we have an eyewitness who claims to have seen you going through the victim's pockets? Oh, you are joking. Not in my nature, Davey. But I've never even met the bloke. Oh, no, no, I, I, I couldn't have. Look, I've been doing too many drugs. Right, you get desperate, but I, I never wanted to hurt anybody, Are never. Are you saying you did assault Wayne Reynolds? No. I don't know. Look, either you did or you didn't, Davey. Which is it? It was me, wasn't it? Do you know Jed Allen? No, I don't think so. He's the landlord of the fusillade. Well, I told you I don't go there. Oh, except last night, of course. Yeah, well, I wish I hadn't, don't I? Oh, what's Tina gonna say? We, we got we got a kid now, a, a baby girl. I mean, I'd, I'd hate to ever lost either of them. I mean, they're my world, they are. Smack's your world, Davy. Well, at least he's coming round to the idea that he's guilty. What if he isn't, Jim? Oh, come on, Sarge. You know what he's like. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, I, I admit he's stupid enough. But there's something not quite kosher. All the evidence points to Davy. It fits, does it? Right, he and Jed claim not to know each other, hmm? Well, there's no reason why they should, is there? Why then, when we went to the pub and spoke to Jed, did he refer to him as Davy when we'd called him David Eden? He must know Davy, or at least know of him. Yeah, but that doesn't Look, mean... all I'm saying is that someone isn't being straight with us, and I don't like that. You and Sergeant Beach handled that snout, Davy Deedon, didn't you? Davy, yeah. Why? Well, he's been nicked for GBH. Good. Now we could stun the little prat. It was Don's idea, not mine. David just didn't have the bottle. Well, Don seems to think he's not guilty. I don't sound like Don. Must be going soft in his old age. <clears throat> Dave is a toe rag. You might as well nick him for that as anything else. Well, and waste a good opportunity. Dave is a loser, yeah, but he knows a lot of people. Might be worth getting him back in line. What, as an informant? He was useless. Come on, Don, you could never rely on him. Forget it. Well, he's had a bit of a scare. It might have straightened him up. Anyway, if there is anyone else involved, I want them nicked too. After all, it's what we're getting paid for, isn't it? Shall we be off, Jim, and leave the youngsters to it? Mr. Page. Hello, Tina. I haven't seen you for a while. Can we come in for a little chat? Hey. Lovely baby. Yeah. Look, what's David done then? Oh, well, you see, a man was badly hurt at the fuselage last night. What, Davy? Is he all right? Oh, Davy's fine, but he's been arrested for GBH. What? Oh, <laughs> hold on. What, and you think he did it? There was a witness. <laughs> yeah, but... GBH? Look, he was stoned out of his brain when he was arrested last night. Look at that figures. I just thought he'd stayed with a mate or somewhere. We know that he's been doing a lot of drugs, Tina. It's been getting out of hand lately, isn't it? Yeah. I don't even know what he's on anymore. Of course he says he can handle it, but I mean, how many times you heard that one, eh? Has Davey ever mentioned a Wayne Reynolds, Tina? No. Has he ever been violent before? What, towards me, you mean? No. I mean, he has his faults, but besides, he knows I can hit harder. <laughs> I still can't see it. Come on, Sarge, look. He was desperate. He's not working at the moment. He's got a wife, a kid, and a habit to support. What else is he going to do? But he wasn't desperate, Jim. He just had his fix. Why would he think of robbing anyone when he'd just been sorted? Hey? 
Yeah, hello? All oh, right. Thanks. Yeah, tell him I'll be right there. Wayne Reynolds just come out the land of Nod. Wayne Reynolds? Yeah. DS Beach, DC Carver Sun Hill. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Okay. How are you feeling? How do I look? Can you tell us what happened last night? I wish I knew you. I was hoping you were going to tell me. I only went outside because the toilets were blocked. Are you a regular down there? No, I was just passing. Should have kept on going, eh? When you went out into the alley, was anyone else out there? Not that I saw. I was just having a piss, then all of a sudden, whack, this happens. Did you have any trouble inside the pub? Any arguments? I just went in for a quiet pint. I don't go looking for trouble. Can you think of anybody who would have done this to you? Somebody who bears a grudge or... No, look. If I knew, I'd tell you. Do you really think Davy could take a big guy out like that? Well, I don't know. If Reynolds was off guard... But Davy was off his head. No, Jim. There's more to it than that. Well, maybe, but the trouble is neither victim nor suspect have got a clue what happened. Exactly. Which leads us back to the man with all the answers. Our friendly local landlord. Hello, are you back so soon? Well, we thought you might have something else to tell us, Jim. Not with you. Can you tell us again exactly what you saw last night? Well, yeah. Like I said before, I go outside and there's this bloke lying there with his face mashed in. Davy's leaning over him and going through his pockets. Davy? Yeah. How do you know him as Davy if you've never seen him before? Well, because that's what you called him when he came here this morning. Well, no, we didn't. We called him David. You calling him David doesn't sound like his bloke you don't know, does it? All right, now look, what's all this about? Because I told you what I know, all right? You see, we're not sure whether to believe you, Jed. And why would I lie? Well, that's what we'd like to find out. Why don't you have a little think about it, eh, Jed? And get back to us if you remember anything else, before we have to get back to you, Jim. You... Sarge. He's not going to tell us anything yet, but she might. Hi, sir. Can we have a word? What do you want? We've just been talking to your old man in the pub. You don't mind answering a couple of questions, do you? All right. Were you working in the bar at the time of the assault last night? Yeah, I was. Was there any trouble? Did anybody get out of hand? No. No, look, you didn't happen to notice if anybody went out into the alleyway just before Jed, did you? Oh, there's always people coming in and out. Look, it must be hard planning to bring a kid up in a pub as rough as that, but it might not be a problem soon. Well, what do you mean? Well, if Jed gets done for assault, you could lose that pub. Jed, but oh, I thought you already got the bloke who did it. Ah, but there's some doubt about that, you see. We don't think that your old man's being entirely honest with us, Liza. Yeah, but he didn't do it. How would you know that? Well, I was with him. He didn't even go outside. Yeah, well, how did he see Davy going through Reynolds' pockets, then? <sighs> he didn't. Well, why would he lie to us? I don't know. That's what I asked him. Ah, and was that the result? <sighs> yeah. Look, it's not like him. It isn't. I don't know, it's just... Ever since he's been... Since what? Ever since he's been hanging out with that thug, Rob Mallet. Rob Mallet? Maybe you should have a word with him. There's trouble when he's around. Uh, look, was Mallet there last night with you? Yeah, he usually is. Right, thanks, Liza. You've been very helpful. Listen. Don't tell Jed I've been talking to you. Kind of mood easy and I don't want another one of these. All right. We'll see what we can do. Well, it's still possible that Davy's guilty. It's just Jed can't have seen him. Davy's been framed, Jim. And Jed couldn't have bashed Reynolds up because he didn't go outside. So he must be covering for someone, yeah? Well, what about this Mallet character? What do you know about him? Absolutely nothing. Should we have another go at Jed again? Mm. No. Let's let him stew for a bit, eh? Let's go and see what Davey's got to say for himself. This is a taped interview with David Eden, officers present at DS Beach and DC Carver. Got some good news for you, Davey. 
Reynolds is going to be all right. A few bruises, headache, but that's all. Oh, well, that is good news, really. No thanks to you, though. So, um, what happens now? Who did you score off last night? Oh, no, I don't know, Mr Beach. I can't go down that road again. I mean, you know how it is. Davy, if there was ever a time you needed to give me information, it's now. Right, right. Rob Mallet. Go on. Well, that's why I had to go to the fuselage. That's where he hangs out. Mind you, I was taking a risk, though, you know, because I owe him some money. What, for smack? Yeah, I mean, I wanted to pay him back. It's just that, you know, with the kid and everything, I couldn't believe it when he let me score again. What do you mean? Oh, he's a nutcase, isn't he? A total psycho. So you didn't have a ruck with Mallet last night? No, he, he, he was sweet. Where can we find him now? A snooker club, probably, Jamaica Lane. Oh, no, 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 no. He wouldn't like it, though, if he thought I'd dropped him in it. Shut up, Davy. He's dropped you in it. Right, sign there, please. Right. So, uh, this isn't the wind-up. I, I can really go home. Davy, you're just being bailed. Oh. You're not off the hook yet. Right, you go. Oh, right, thanks. Come on. Davy, yeah. why don't you leave the drugs alone? They're not doing anyone any favours. Oh, don't worry, man. I'm well sure of that game. You know, I've been doing a lot of real thinking today and I'm definitely going to get myself sorted out. Well, that's it, Davy. Because you never know when I might come looking for you. Oh, you know you can always rely on me, Mr Beach. George. Take him off, will you? Uh, excuse me. Um, Rob Mallet. Thanks. <laughs> Coppers, eh? It's the hairstyles that give it away, you know. <laughs> I'm DS Beach and this is DC Carver Sunhill. Are you Rob Mallet? <laughs> it's funny. I just had a couple of lemons come up. Were you in the fuselage last night around 10.30? That man will tell you where I was, did he? Jed? Yeah. What's he been saying? Oh, you know, this and that. What do you know about an assault in the pub last night? An assault? Mm hmm Nothing. Perhaps I should ask you this question down at the station again, eh? See if your memory improves. <laughs> you haven't got a problem with that, have you? You're wasting your time, you know that. Squeaky clean, I am. Yeah, I'm sure your mother loves you. <laughs> You love your job, don't you? Hey, it has its moments. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's just one of them. You are so... What do you think? Just get after him! Oh. Go on, Jim. Lively! Oh. Oh. I've lost it! Sarge, I can't find anything on Mallet. There's no address, nothing. Aye, aye. They've lost him again. Let's get out of here, Jim. I might stick this one on Davy anyway. Hello, Sunday Hill CID. What's it about? Didn't know he had a drink problem, Jim. Yeah, he keeps missing his mouth. Yeah, yeah. Very funny. Sarge, Liza Allen from the Fuselard pub. She's a bit upset. Her husband's just been taken to St Hugh's. Has he now? Right. Tell her we'd be right there. Come on, Jim. It's handy, Jim. Might be able to save your jacket. <laughs> Hello again, Jed. Oh, great. I suppose this is your doing, is it? She's worried about you, Jed. And with good reason, by the look of it. I suppose this was all Mallet's doing? Ain't no grass. Is Mallet all right? He's got to be stopped, Jed. He's an animal. You can't start thinking of us as a family. Oh, gee! Sorry. But I mean it, Jed. We can't go on like this. I can't. Nor can we. We've been messed around enough today as it is, so come on. All right, all right. What do you want to know? Let's start with the assault. All right, Rob... Mallet had been drinking in the pub, all right? Now, I'd already told him I didn't want no dealing there. Now, that's the truth. But the geezer goes his own way, you know what I mean? <laughs> what then? Well, Davey comes in. Now, Mallet had already told me about him. Said he had a few outstanding debts, you know what I mean? The geezer wasn't best pleased with him, I'll tell you that. So why did he let Davey score again? 
Well, he said he was going to teach him a lesson. You know, he knew David would be straight out of the back. Mallet was going to go after him and give him a good kick in, wouldn't he? So what changed? Hmm? Well, the other geezer, um... Oh, what, Reynolds, is that his name? Yeah. Oh, he's not a lucky man, is he? He went outside for a slash just after Mallet had gone to sort Davy out. Well, and? When Mallet comes back in, he's laughing, isn't he? He said, I couldn't resist it, Jed. Two birds with one stone. Yeah, well, Davy was out of it when he got out there. Then Reynolds appeared, Mallet grabs him, smashes his face against the wall, takes his wallet and plants it on Davy. So Mallet told you that he'd framed Davy? Yeah. You know, Mallet thought it was funny if Davy got taken away from that kid of his. See, because Mallet hates kids. Well, he hates everyone, doesn't he? And he made Jed phone you lot with a pack of lies. What I can't understand is why Mallet had to take Reynolds out. I mean, he didn't see anything, did he? Why couldn't Mallet have waited for him to go back inside? Reynolds probably ain't going to remember this, right? But earlier on, he'd made a right big mistake, hadn't he? Well, how? He'd bumped into Mallet, spilt his beer. I mean, it was an accident, but Mallet's the kind of geezer who bears a grudge, you know what I mean? So when Reynolds appeared outside, well... I mean, the geezer's a nutter, isn't he? Yeah. Well, maybe we can do something about him now. Hold on, there's another thing. He wasn't best pleased to find out Davy was your snout. Oh, yeah? I told him what I'd heard you say this morning. Well, you shouldn't have said that, should you? I mean, that's not nice, is it? How would you like word to get around that you were a grass? Wouldn't do much for business, would it? Yeah, but you don't get the point. You know, after he'd done this to me, he said there was somebody else he had to go and sort out. Come on. Mentioned when questioned, something which you'd like to rely on in court. I won't forget this, Davy. I love you! You do say maybe giving evidence. Please. Get out! All right, all right. Uh, I need to get excited. Right. Get him out of here. Move it. Oh. Got me to drive. Shut up! Well, looks like you're off the hook for the GBH, Davy. <sighs> Excellent. I reckon it's been a great day for both of us, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Look at the state you were in this morning. Now look at you. Back with your lovely family in your flat. I'm gonna keep off the drugs. Yes, no, Mr Beach, definitely. I am. I'll give it a go. Well, that's good, Davy. Because this time round, you'll be a better informant, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> 